I am really excited for Black Panther Wakanda Forever to come out, so I'm doing this special video where I'm going to make these incredible shortbread biscuits themed to Black Panther Wakanda Forever, except that it all went horribly wrong. Brilliant. Oh my god. Ugh. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK, my name's MJ. And this is a very special video, but not special for the reasons that I had intended. It was going to be this fun recipe video where I showed you how I made these shortbreads, went through the recipe, and we had some fun along the way. Turns out it was absolute chaos, and uh, sort of everything went wrong, and it's the next day as I'm filming this, I'm still clearing up from it. Anyway, let's jump cut back to yesterday and start the video. So I've purchased this cookie cutter from eBay. As you can see, it looks like it's been 3D printed. It's actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but that's okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna make my dough now, and then we'll cut it up, and then we'll decorate it, and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna do two different shapes of shortbread. I'm gonna do the actual Black Panther face shape, which is slightly smaller, and I'm gonna do circular ones, which I'm gonna decorate with silver diamond shaped pieces uh, as a sort of reference to the necklaces that they wear. Okay. I just want to quickly talk about a few things. This video is not sponsored. However, I would like to promote Res Snapper, my brand new Marvel Snap channel. Marvel Snap is a digital collectible card game which you may have heard of or you may be playing. It is absolutely awesome. It's incredible fun. It is so fun that I decided to make another YouTube channel for it, which is something that I definitely don't have the resource or manpower to be able to manage and upload to on a regular basis. But I'm going to do it anyway because I'm mental. So yeah, Marvel Snap is so much fun. I've been enjoying it so much. So check out my YouTube channel for Marvel Snap, which is called Res Snapper. It's a fish pun. Let me know in the comments below if you get it. And also, I've been filming a very special Black Panther Wakanda Forever celebration vlog for my Theme Park Life YouTube channel. It's absolutely incredible. I'm gonna be doing like Lego projects. I'm gonna be doing a fashion show of, well, just showing you my Black Panther clothes. But it's gonna be cool. It's probably cooler or lamer than it sounds. Go and check out that stuff. Thank you for the bad and let's get on with this. So I am using the BBC traditional shortbread recipe for this, which uses rice flour, as I think a lot of the traditional shortbread recipes do. Now let me talk you through the different kinds of decorations I'm gonna do. I'm gonna decorate the Black Panther face ones with purple food coloring. This will be purple when you get it wet, apparently, which are gonna mix in with the icing, and I'm gonna try and detail that in the lines. We'll see how that goes. It may be a complete failure. Oh, I didn't even mention, because crucially, I will be coloring them black. I mean, hopefully you saw that from the thumbnail anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna food color the actual biscuits black. In fact, not all of them. I, prob I probably do half and half, because I also sort of need a way to tell when the cookies are actually baked, so. Anyway, to achieve the shiny silver diamondy pieces, I've literally got jelly diamonds from Sainsbury's, and I've got a silver glitter spray, which Rich yeah. recommended to me, the owner and founder of the cookie mill. So thanks for the tip, Rich. Welcome to extremely well shot and thought out good cinematography section of the video. Time to soften the butter. Okay, that's now softened, as you can see. I uh, have also started preparing the food coloring, as you might be able to tell from my fingers. Some concerns, it doesn't look particularly black to me, but we'll see how it goes. I've now mixed the sugar in, and can put the rice flour and the standard flour in now. Well directed. In fact, guys, YOLO. We're just gonna do them all black. Let's see how this works. This is the food coloring, and we'll see how this mixes in. I mean, that's brown. I'm gonna need a hell of a lot more food coloring. Slowly get in there. I'm gonna add this and then we'll see how we get on. I put quite a lot in there. Let's see if that actually works. No idea. Oh, okay, the dough is now done, splat. And it definitely looks considerably darker now. So I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm now gonna roll it out. Right, let's see if this works. I know this isn't very economical to do it in the middle, but give it a go. Oops, got a bit caught. Okay, interesting. It might be a little bit too hot, to be fair. 
Ah, oh, that's too, too, too big. Brilliant. Moronic. Okay, good. Now it's all stuck in there, so that's good. Yeah, part of me does feel like it's too hot. Oh, literally, it's all stuck in there. That is good. That is really good. I don't even know how to get it out. Perfect. Oh, this is going wrong. Love it. Brilliant. Right, extremely stressed because it's not working. And now I'll put some flour on the stencil. And sh maybe if I just press not too hard, right? Okay, I could probably just cut around that. I'm just gonna try doing that, I think. Maybe I wasn't supposed to press all the way down. Right, so I'm gonna cut around them with, I guess, a knife. Mm, this is gonna be tedious, but I'll at least show you one. I have so much respect for patisserie people. So much respect indeed. There we go. Needs a bit of uh, tender loving care. But let's get that into the fridge to set up. I'm switching between two cameras here guys, but just wanted to show you some 4K footage as well. The sun has come out for me to make a purple cream cheese frosting, so I'm just going to get the frosting in there. And uh, yeah, I'm now going to colour it purple. Look at that, it pretty much matches my t-shirt. So yeah, this is the purple frosting now done. It's not as strong, strong as I would like, but to be honest, I don't want to make much more mess with the purple liquid, because it's so strong, getting it anywhere other than in the food, it's insanely strong and stains things. Um, so yeah, but that's, that's purple enough, I'm happy with that. This is turning into a little bit of a disaster, to be honest. Uh, I've tried the frosting. I think I've used the wrong food colouring, or at least I've used the food colouring in the wrong way, because it tastes rancid. I think I've basically put too much food colouring in, because it needs to be more dissolved in water. But of course, if I did that, it would affect the consistency of the icing, the frosting. So that's ruined that and I assume the cookies are going to taste horrible as well or the shortbread so I think this is going to be like a vanity thing I think they're going to look good maybe they might even look bad but taste bad they might look bad and taste bad this is fun cooking's worth it okay I'm now going to decorate the diamond things hmm. um yeah hmm they're still pink and magenta so i'm not really happy with that but there we go and there is now silver everywhere in the air i don't know if you can see the little shimmers of light but yeah cool so we're probably gonna find yeah brilliant probably gonna find that everywhere now cool this is literally a disaster Okay guys, so I've just finished making the Black Panther shortbread. I'll put some actual good footage on screen because it's so late now that the lighting absolutely sucks. Um, yeah, so this was actually a bit of a disaster. I would encourage you to check out the behind the scenesy sort of Wakanda Forever celebration vlog that is going up on my vlog channel after this video goes up um, to see the full, full information. But Here's what you've been asking for though, some actual proper close-up looks at, I mean my face is in there as well. Hello, it's my head, a human being. Uh, so yeah, I, do you know what, I actually think that these look really good. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the cookie cutter. Uh, I need to find a way to, to better the food colouring though, because they're completely inedible. Uh, they're so bitter from the amount of food colouring that I've had to use that they are totally inedible. Um, these ones I'm less happy with. I think that these look like a child did them. And that's fine, that's good. But we live and learn, so yeah. So, thank you very much for watching this chaos vlog. Please subscribe to Res Snapper, my new Marvel Snap channel. Uh, try Marvel Snap as well. In fact, download Marvel Snap, play it, you'll bloody love it. 
and then you can go and subscribe to Red Snapper and the stuff will make more sense. Check out Theme Park Life for my full Wakanda Forever celebration, including my first reactions to the film. And yeah, um, don't add that much food colouring to this sort of thing. Do you know what? I'm actually going to make uh, just normal shortbread cookies with the cookie cutter because I think that aspect of it was, was great and maybe just not even decorate and just have some nice shortbread one day, but I'm... I'm not doing that anytime soon. That has, uh, has put me off baking for, you know, at least a couple of weeks. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Right, I can stop kneeling now because my bloody legs hurt. Whoa. Actual taste test. It's alright, but oh. oh, oh, three days later, fingernails still purple. I've washed them, I don't know, probably a hundred times. It is getting a little bit less strong uh, so hopefully it'll be completely gone by well by the time the film comes out by by 2023 i could hope 